have an all-Brazilian matchup in Adriano D'Souza, Wiggly Dantes, and Jadson Andre Caipo Guerrero, along with Martin Potter for the call. What a heat we got here, Pots. Yeah, uh, incredible heat. Three guys are going to be totally fired up. Adrian Souza wants to get that ball rolling again. Uh, I think he's going to be the danger man for sure in this event. Wiggly Dantes, we're going to see some power stuff from him. And Jadson Andre is going to bring a lot of energy. I think we're going to see a healthy mix of both the lefts and rights. Next time, that I can't do that. <laughs> well, at least, uh, you know, the mistake didn't go in his favor. It worked out for you. Moving on, hoping to capitalize on these seeds. Yeah, I'm obviously excited to get to surf in any of these comps that I get into. And, you know, I'm trying to go as far as I can and um, just enjoy it. You know, there's less pressure right now. So just have fun. And We saw during the interview, opening ride for White, Johnson, Andre. And let's take another look at it, Potts. Yeah, what do you think of this? Tricky takeoff. And then his foot was really far forward on the board. Finally gets it in the right place and then unleashes two serious maneuvers. I love this last turn right here showing a lot of commitment. We talk about that energy that Jadson Andre brings to the table. No one can match it. I mean, look at this turn, lays back into it, drives off that foam, and shows us a little bit of pizzazz at the end of that wave. So a tricky start, but a great ending, and a, a nice way to start for Jadson. I'm not sure how it comes across on the TV, but when you watch it live, the left especially, hang on, we'll just watch this. And Richie cuts away from us, because now he has to Make sure that his entire panel has 100% focus on surfers as we see Adriano D'Souza take a left. And it looked like Wiggly went quickly, or Jadson went quickly on the right. We're going to catch up with some replays here. But Richie, you still there? Yeah, and, and, and I, was, I was saying that it does, may not show it on the TV, but in live vision there is... A, it has this massive wobble, as you're saying before, with the two swells. It goes through the the lineup, and the, and the trick is, and you saw some of the the guys in the last seat getting stuck. It's, it's almost like a, a roller coaster. That if you're not right on the rails of that groove on the wave, you hit these flat spots, and that's why you're seeing a lot of the guys getting a little bit hung up and stuck because it does have this wobble that goes through it. And Interesting how the dynamic changes when you come in, you know throughout a season as a wild card or even yeah. in the qualifying series. Now when you're in the big leagues, how that plays with your mind. Here we go, Dantes. Beautiful, powerful hook off the top. It's gonna be a one maneuver wave, but that was a nice rail engagement there by Wiggly Dantes. It's a beach break, but works like a, a point break. And it's not perfect. And you gotta deal with the backwash at the same time. So. The waves change a lot in terms of format, you know, so it's not a perfect wave. But the Brazilians, they love it. So they're going to give whatever the crowd wants and whatever the judge wants. And it's just a matter of the playing the game, you know. It is a privilege for having Carlos Berle part of our broadcast, one of the most renowned Brazilian surfers in the <laughs> entire world and one of the best big wave riders. Oh, yeah. Hands down. Here's a look at Jadson Andre's wave. Yeah, current heat leader, so Jadson. Just trying to crank it up trying to replace uh, his second highest scoring ride and that's his mission at the moment just trying to improve his situation ads adriano de souza quick footed for that finish and does a good job of fitting a few turns in there on that right hander we'll get caught up on a replay to see what adriano had at the beginning of that wave but always always cool under pressure adriano looking just for 4.24 to take the lead. Let's take a look at this wave, Pops. Yeah, well, let's have a look. Uh, he's taking his time, eight minutes and 45 remaining. So it's around about now he's got to pull the trigger, try and get some good surfing, nice, clean. And the Sosa always finishes off his waves. You can guarantee that going into that day. Pipeline Kaipo, um, you were there as well as I, and he was definitely the man to beat. Oh, certainly. Just charging, and here we go. Charging on this left. Jadson Andre having to do some S turns just to keep the board free. Nice snap there for Jaddy Baby. Let's see what else he's got. He's going to look for the barrel, pulls in, and sneaky little exit. Has to bust through a bit. We'll see where the judges go with that score. His requirement, what he was looking for, wasn't a giant score. A 4.44 will give Jadson the lead. I think he would have been better off just doing a nice big bash through the lip. I think to get a score on a tube out here this morning, it's going to have to be a good one. 
but you talk, you heard Carlos Berlay talk about how tricky this wave is to ride. Watch how hard it is for Jadson to find the right spot. You can just see him weaving, trying to set it up. Now he starts to get the ball rolling, hooks into that first turn, and just in two minds right now what to do, and just gets a little cover up. So I'm not seeing that go huge. Priority game has not been played out too, too much of importance, but we've only been through a couple of heats. Surfers are pretty spread out, and here we go with Dantes. Good look at left. Wiggly winds up and carves off the top. Second car bringing that one all the way around. So two-turn wave for Wiggly Dantes. Wow, look at Jaddy. Jaddy's last wave of 4.83, so Jadson Andre out of the lead. Adrian D'Souza looking on the comeback now. Nice snap. Powers through a lip glide there. And D'Souza gets his own version of a two-turn wave. So a couple of scores owed to us by the men in the judges' tower. Number one seed, that red jersey, to, to have to earn it. De Souza, first turn, super clean. Nice, smooth, arcing maneuver. And then as we always talk about that finish that he has, he just never falls off this guy. So solid on his feet. And then Wiggly Dantes, who's had kind of a slow start, needing something special, just hooking into that first turn. We talk about the power that this guy possesses. Unfortunately, haven't seen a lot of it this morning. Adriano De Souza, though, have a look at that score, that two-turn combo. The judges loved it. There you go. De Souza just flipped it on Jadson Andre. He needed a 4.23. He actually got a 6.33. So Adriano De Souza out of the lead with three minutes remaining. Now Jadson Andre is going to be fishing for a 6.93 or better. Currently ranked number four in the world. Came off of the Australian leg kind of under the radar, but he's right in there for a title hunt. Here we go with Adrian D'Souza. Good looking left. A nice hook on the backhand. Stabs it. Oh. Backwash has to time it and just gets upsided by that backwash. Oh. Wow, how was that? With one minute and 20 seconds remaining, is he going to try and get out for one more roll of the dice? Let's have a look. This first turn, though, amazing. Watch this backside snap. Hooking perfectly in the right place at the right time and then just gets absolutely launched on that backwash. But the first turn, amazing stuff from DeSouza. I love his backhand surfing. I think one of the best uh, technically on tour. And then just gets absolutely lit up with that backwash. This could be his last chance. And a heat win here is going to have to scratch into this one. Does so. Looks right, goes left, and no opportunity either way for Jaddy Baby. Uh, they're looking they're looking sharp they looks like they both got good boards under their feet but uh, it was always going to be tough to to beat the size right here this morning there you go jersey number 13 pointing to the sky always thankful he's moving on to around number three 